I was a sophomore in high school when I told God no. At that age, all I could think about was my boyfriend, partying, and pretty much just living life on my own terms. So when God knocked on the door of my heart, I said no, because I didn't want to miss out on life, and I didn't want him to stop me from having fun. But in all honesty, I didn't want to change. I got into my first relationship when I was in high school, and you know how that can be. My first boyfriend was pretty much everything. My universe, my God, my happiness. He pretty much took priority in my life. He was always first. In 2007, when the economy crashed, my family and I lost our home, so we had to move. My boyfriend and I decided that nothing was going to change. I mean, I was only moving 30 minutes away. But a week after I had moved, I couldn't get a hold of him anymore. Turns out he was with someone else. You can just imagine how I felt. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. And at the time, I didn't know it, but I was depressed. Because that's what happens when you allow your happiness to come from something that you could lose. When you lose it, you just question who you are. You question your worth. Eventually, I started going to this new school. I made new friends, and as time went on, I started dating someone else. We dated for over a year. And long story short, it was one heartbreak after another. I was 18 when we broke up, right out of high school. It was like deja vu all over again. Lack of sleep, lack of appetite, and depression wrapped her arms around me once again. I called my sister on the phone that summer and I wanted her to tell me what I wanted to hear. I wanted her to say that everything would be okay and that eventually we would get back together. But instead, she told me something that changed my life. She quoted to me a verse from the Bible. I'll never forget it. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. And she said to me, that God would not give me more than what I could handle, and that He would give me a way out of what I was going through. I had walked very far away from God at that point in my life, but with all my heart, I believed that what my sister said was true. I believed that God would give me a way out of the misery. That day, God knocked on the door of my heart once again, and this time, I said yes. Because after doing my own thing for so long, I realized that God allowed me to get to a place in my life where I was broken, where I would see where living for myself would get me, so that I would realize that I didn't know what was best for me after all. It's like C.S. Lewis said, God allows us to experience the low points in life in order to teach us lessons that we could learn no other way. It took me a long time, but I finally exhausted all of my own efforts. I finally realized that men took the place that belonged to Jesus in my life. I made them an idol. I looked to them for meaning. I looked to them for security. And I looked to them for perfection, which only left me disappointed because the only one that can satisfy the human heart is the one who created it. That day, I parted ways with my old life. I said goodbye to the party life, the idols, and living for myself. And I entrusted God with every aspect of my life. I turned my back on the things that I once prized most highly, 
but I counted it all a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ. 